Hi guys, some more tips and tricks for Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Let's go. Alright guys, I already know this video is going to get over 50 likes because some of these tips and tricks maybe you've seen, but I'm pretty sure there's some that is going to be new to you, man. So let's just go ahead and get started, guys. Now, when I come into the map and I have ba basically nothing, <laughs> like right now, the first thing I do is go straight to the medium threat zone and grab one of these escort contracts, guys. Number one is 3,000 racks in essence, and number two, if you do not have a revive kit on you or in your ruck, it is a guaranteed, guaranteed every single time you will get at least one, sometimes if you're lucky, two revive kits and again, 3K in essence to get you going. So that is the first stop I usually go. All right guys, you know I like my stealthy entrances into the dreaded red zone. If you watched that last tips and tricks video, I did an entrance kind of like this, but it was on the other side of the red zone. This location right here in the G5, the G5, you can stealthily get into the red zone like this. Number one, Zymes aren't going to follow you because you're already in the water at that point. And number two, if you keep going this way, just straight through off the boat so you're not making any noise or nothing, you will find this stairs right here on the left. And when you climb up here, guys, you will be nonchalant. Nobody knows you're even there, guys. And I stayed here for like a good four, three to four minutes. No zombies came to find me or nothing like that, guys. And you can kind of look at your map and plan your attack because you know when you're in the red zone, you got to have a plan. <laughs> All right, guys. Now, I was leaving the red zone and I had to go AFK for a couple of minutes to make a text on my phone, guys. And I want to go ahead and include this as well anyway because it's a really good away from keyboard spot, guys. And since I've been using this spot like for a good little while now, zombies have not spawned into this anywhere near this little bridge or platform. And they just leave you alone, guys. Like I said, the E4 location, zombies aren't going to bother you while you are AFK. So just want to put that in the tips as well. All right, guys. Now, this next one is just me thinking outside the box because I play solo a lot. And if you guys play solo as well, then this is a really good tip and trick that you can use when you have to do the raid weapon stash. Now, notice I used this vehicle to block that one entrance. And I did check, and there's only two entrances inside this building. This works when the raid stash locker um, is in a building like this, where there's like two or three maybe instant uh, entrances, rather. And yeah, I'm gonna just show you how good this works because since I blocked that one entrance the zombies do not even try and i was like i'm just gonna sit right here and they will funnel into this one door and i will just and you can just take them out guys you know what i'm saying guys you will just, just you don't have to worry about that see how that hellhound the hellhound didn't even try to go through that door he was like nah there's a car there i can't i gotta go i gotta find another way in you know so that really works guys like i said especially you playing solo dolo like i do a lot of times and yeah guys man so that's a good tip and trick to use on these raid stash all right guys and this next one is just me again thinking outside the box i'm always plundering and looking for other ways to get in different places like that guys and at the e6 location there is a tunnel system that will lead you I'll show you where it leads to, but just think, this is another away from keyboard place again because zombies will not follow you through that entrance into this tunnel. And you know what? I bet there's a bunch of these tunnel systems underneath the map, and I just haven't found them yet, guys. But as you can see, this it leads you to the tower where currently the stronghold is sometimes when you come in. And this, it actually takes you to a good crane location that will take you right where you want to be when you want to get that PAP 3 or Stronghold. All right, guys, since I'm still at the tower location, figured I would add this in the video as well. So this is the last tip and trick right here, guys. Now, I'm sure you guys know this as well, but sometimes it is random, but sometimes when you come into the map, the Stronghold is not at the tower location. Ducati is not there. The new Warlord after the update, season one reloaded. But the loot is still there, guys, and I can tell there's not a lot of people coming up here because 
the loot crates were all closed when I got here, man. So it's still a good loot uh, place to come and farm some good loot, guys. So don't count it out just yet. And I use this all the time, man. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Like the video. And if you missed that first tips and tricks video, a lot of juicy details in there, man. So I'm going to put that video at the end of this one. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.